Hi everybody and welcome back to Crypt Monkey Paints. I am here tonight painting the Primal Storm Pike by Storm Kite. I don't know why I've got to call him a pike. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's constantly in my head pike. Um, but it's by Dragon Trapper's Lodge and it's a super awesome little sculpt. And I say a little, but this is printed at 50% scale of, of the actual guy so he's not really so little he's kind of gigantic and i love 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 him um but i am also going to be painting him with an inspiration picture that jake gave me in discord so that is my inspiration behind his coloration and everything else and it's kind of awesome and i love him and he's gonna be amazing but let's get started because I'm already late. So yay. <laughs> I am. Oh, and we're doing a new camera angle too. So we'll see how this works. Yay. Um, but yeah, this is at 50% scale of his actual like full capacity size. So he's kind of ginormous. And he's not actually on his base properly at the moment because I just kind of flopped him down. There you go. That's how he sits. Sort of badly. There we go. So it's kind of cool. It's kind of awesome. Um, I base coated him in just beige just to kind of get him kind of coated. And I did a really crappy job at gap filling. Um, but this guy is going to be on my table. You can see right there is a major gap that I missed badly. But... Um, he's going to be on my shelf and on my table, so because he's my he's my little man. Um, so I don't really care about gaps that much. Uh, and then his base has got Aztec inspired greenery and like these little things. Let's see, so we've got all these like little ferns around here, right? But these leaves right here, I want to point out that they are so floppy and thin and awesome wow so i just i i have to give a shout out again to dragon trappers lodge because holy hell like that is that is freaking amazing and i love it and if you haven't had a chance to go check them out absolutely go check them out um because rawr. because why not right um Hi, Regina. Oh, you're going to be baking while you're watching tonight? Oh, what are you baking? Because you have free hands to tell me what you're baking right now, right? Because I actually bake a lot, so I know. So it's, I've actually done the thing where I'm like, okay, Ty, I'm, I've got my hands in dough. I can't type anything. Answer these 15 questions that I've just gotten. So I get that, and I understand what I just asked, but I want to know. <laughs> so... Because I'm doing this new kind of little setup, which I think is really kind of fun, I won't be able, you guys really won't see my palette or anything, but it's actually based on the image, so it's going to be a fairly simplistic palette. My image is gone again, babe. Um, so I've got Brain Matter Beige, I've got my Surface Primer, um... That's the German red brown, which is really quickly becoming one of my favorite brown or favorite reds. Then I have, I have brilliant red. I don't know. I can't read it anymore. <laughs> um, you can tell the ones that I use a lot. So I've got pretty much those are going to be the colors on him. Um, I may toward the end put on a little highlight here and there or something else, but at the moment, those are pretty much the colors I'm going for. Um, that's not true. I will have a undertone under him of, on his belly. Let's go with dead flesh. That makes sense. So those are going to be the only colors on him, really, because he's he's got, it's kind of funny because he's got a very, very simplistic paint, but it makes it to where if there's any, I struggle with the simplistic paints like that, where it's like, here's all your, you know, colors, and that's really all you need is four colors. I'm like, but I want to throw every color in the rainbow at it. So this is a little challenging for me. 
Okay, let's see. Regina said, I guess less actual baking, but making caramel puffed corn, chocolate dipped peanut butter crackers, sandwiches, and no bake oatmeal cookies. Okay, guys. Well, we're going to end the stream there. We'll and Regina, we'll see you very soon. <laughs> I think he looks great as his base coat, and we're done. Bye <laughs> night. <laughs> I will kill you with him as he is. Yes. <laughs> I have been attacked by many a monster that had no color anyway. Who cares? <laughs> yeah, actually, we are our cookie exchange. Our local group of cookie exchange people will be getting together on the twenty third. So what's today? The twentieth. Is that right? I have no 21st. idea. Twenty first. Oh, so tomorrow is my baking day. So I will be doing tons and tons and tons of baking. And I think Izzy's supposed to come over and bake with me. Um, because she had a little bit of a shock to her system this year. Um, she's like, "Oh yeah, the cookie exchange." I'm like, "Yeah, guess what? You're your own household now, sweetheart." Which means, to participate, you have to do it too. It's not just you get to eat the cookies mom makes and the cookies Angie makes and everything else. Sounds like I get more cookies. Yep. So, ow. He is super, super spiky. So this is the dead flesh color is what this is. <laughs> Regina says, if I were closer. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that I really have to be real careful about and make sure I get done tomorrow for sure is the marshmallows because everything else can be cooked the day of and it's not a big deal. But marshmallows actually have to dry out and sit overnight. So, or for, you know, like 12 hours and. I don't want to do that 12 hours before the show, before people show up. So Regina says, if I were closer, I asked to join. <laughs> if you were closer, honey, I, I would have already invited based on what you already said. <laughs> so we're doing it on this day. Thought about doing, um, let's see. The inside of his legs doesn't go down too far. It's kind of just right here on this meaty section. I guess that's not the best place. Can we, I'm, I've got, I'm kind of angling my photo here. Yes. Yeah, that, that works a little bit better. So I can kind of see my camera too. Um, how do you guys like the new camera angle in front of me like this? But I've thought about doing something with cons where, like, you know, we, we pretty much have a con family of, like, okay, you know, this is the first time we're going to see each other in so long. Let's do something. And for me, that always involves food. Yeah, the new camera angle and the, and the loop, the 3D printer loop, I, I dig that, too. Uh, we've got... All three, well, three of the yeah. Saturns lined up there, and you can kind of see the other ones have their own projects going on at the same time we're printing this guy. Yeah, I, I've I've gotten to a full blown print farm now. That's that is definitely my life, and I am happy to have it. I just wish like I could find a good app on a on my phone to have multiple timers running at the same time because at the moment i haven't really found anything that i like like one app was great it had a bunch of different timers and i could label them all real specific and everything else and then i quickly realized that as soon as i closed the app all of them just stopped i'm like that's not that's not good that's not good and for me it, it's just a habit to you know swipe up to make sure everything's closed when i'm done with my phone for right now Big old butt in y'all's face there. <laughs> Literally just dry brushing and dry brushing and dry brushing.
and then like so on here i'm dry brushing everything up technically and then when i get to the red i'll be dry brushing down because I want it to kind of smear together. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> it just landed. And we will be doing a giveaway tonight of our random boxes. Um, I think we've got four or five gone so far. I've got a little list over here of what's still available. The fun thing is, is like, it's just barely blending in with the, the color that is already on there for him. But by the time we're done, like, you can see all of that's going to be red. So it won't be so much blended anymore. And this is, like, what's really weird for me is that I'll be taking the brighter red and dry brushing it on first. And then my top coat is going to be the darker red, which is, like, backwards. It's what I do. It's a little bit of a mind bender right now, but it'll be fine. I mean, obviously, you can see the photo. It looks freaking awesome like that, but I'm just not used to doing they, it that way. What, which photo? They don't see. Oh, they, they well, they no. They saw I'm, it earlier. They saw it earlier. My inspiration, which is what Jake sent in Discord as well. Do you want me to show it again? No, you don't have to. I mean, okay. you're welcome to, but. Yeah, that. Up again. The one on the left, the, the drawing. Yes. So <clears throat> specifically in the on Discord and the 3D printing channel, Jake had put this image in and was like, you know, hey, I, is this a possibility at any point? And I went on a mad hunt to find anything that looked even remotely like this because it would be amazing to paint. And it's been hours and hours and hours and I found something fairly decently close to it. But it was definitely, like, it didn't have all of the big spikes on the back. It just had kind of, it almost looked like fat rolls. But it had the head. It just had fat rolls on the back instead of spikes. Um, <clears throat> but, I mean, it was the closest thing I could find. And so I told him, you know, I, I could get that one and it would be, it'd be the closest and everything else. And he's like, oh, that's awesome. Thank you so much. And all that kind of good stuff. And... And then like two days later, maybe a day later, I was going through my STL files and getting everything kind of all my new stuff kind of organized and everything. And here was this file sitting there and I'm like, what's storm kite? Open it up and look at the image. I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? Spent hours and hours and hours looking for the perfect model. And I already had it. It's like, that is crazy. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Baby rubber duck. <laughs> Hi, Gareth. How are you? So, uh, sometimes we talk about 3D printing, but most of the time we're talking about painting, we're talking about games, we're talking about the other entertainment streams we do for gaming and stuff like that. And I'm not calling anybody out. I just happened to see somebody's name in chat that reminded me it's been a while since we talked about the 3D printing stuff. So uh, on Mondays, you guys know, at 7 p.m. Central, you can watch Jake and myself talk about paranormal, un unexplained things, you know, Bigfoot and things like that, and how we use them in our tabletop gaming. And uh, I, I was just going to point out, because we don't actually do a 3D printing show, we just do lots of 3D printing. Yeah. Also on Mondays... At 6 p.m., it's been a little bit since, it's been a few weeks since we watched it, 5.30 or 6 p.m., you can watch a, a great show that talks about 3D printing, laser etching, just a lot of you guys know I like the laser etching, um, 
lots of cool DIY tech stuff oh. like that on a show called Hot Makes. Now, yes. they stream, though, they stream on YouTube, but they're super easy to find and a lot of fun yes, to watch. Yes, definitely lots a lot of, great of fun. guests. So uh, if you're interested in all of that cool maker stuff like we are, you should give them a try as well. And we're not paid by them or anything. They don't even know who the hell we are. So no. <laughs> just enjoy but... that show. But then as soon as you're done watching their show, you come back to Twitch and you watch uh, Gamers in the Unknown. You watch me and Jake make fools of yourselves. But I do have to say that um, they were doing a print you know, a print contest of who could do the biggest and who could do the smallest on the torture toaster. And I didn't win because mine was non-functioning. I submitted it because it was a really cool photo, but I very clearly labeled all of it that it was non-functioning. Mine did not work, um, but it fit on the tip of my finger and it was freaking phenomenal and they posted it they showed it and i was so cool i was like ah that's me <laughs> uh, so ethan's dad says i try to watch hot makes every week so i wasn't you called yourself out i i saw your name in chat i wasn't saying you had to say anything <laughs> but i recognized your name in there and that's what made me think we haven't talked about 3d printing in a long time uh, gareth says doing good how about you all we are good. We officially have all three children home again um, for the holidays. Having all of our grown-up kids in the house again. Yes, it is very nice. It is. Um, no, so they've got to go. No, I'm kidding. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's kind of weird because it's like in one one aspect it's like they never left, and then the other aspect it's everyone's home, <laughs> and I love it. It's it's funny how it flip flops so much. Uh, so, so I'll do one more call I, again since, since, since Ethan's dad spoke up. If you follow Ethan's dad on Twitter, there's lots of cool things for maker things that he shared as well. Yes. Very much worth a check out. Get off of me. Uh, he is spiky and biting me. Sorry. So Ethan's dad asks, is, is Storm Kite from D&D? I'll let you. <laughs> so, so I think it's actually a, uh, it's like a homebrew. It that's what it looks like to me as a homebrew. I'm gonna bring credits up <clears> again because. <throat> yeah, absolutely. As far as I can tell, this source, this yes, Regina, dorm on AminoApps.com, is where it's either being collaborated on or, um, or this this person created it, and Jake may be able to answer better. If Jake's still in, in chat or not, but uh, Damage Micro may be able to answer better than I. Yeah, I really, um, I, I tend to aesthetically like the spiky ones, mainly because these artists do all of these crazy, amazing details. And then just by, you can see how much gets done just by me dry brushing because of these details. And the spikes just, it just makes my life easier when it comes to actually painting. Now, blood-wise on the hand, that's a different <laughs> story. But I thoroughly enjoy, aesthetically, these models just turn out really good. Uh, Thank you, Max. Yeah, thanks, Max. Jake's not around. I'll just, we'll, we can talk about it now. Jake's not around. Again. Awesome. <laughs> Regina said, oh, you were answering that. I'm yes. Sorry. Uh, yeah, homebrew. Wow, it's it's a special place in my heart because yeah. I tend to use the books as guides and, and make everything up. Not always, but oftentimes, make em ups are full of make em ups. I have more experience with homebrews than I do running any campaign from a book, um, mainly because I'm married to him. But you know. I personally, <clears throat> I, I'll take homebrew any day, but that's not to say I won't play. Honestly, you put a game in front of me, I'm going to play. <laughs> I don't really care. I don't even care what system it is. Um, I just want to play. So, but I just, I have a lot more experience with homebrews than anything else. Regina asks if, uh, is that why you're using red paint today to make the blood blend in better? Mm hmm you figured me out <laughs> oh 
And you guys, I think, can barely see. Oh, no, he's off frame. Oh, what did he? Rubber ducky. <laughs> it's the pirate rubber ducky. A lot of you know that we've uh, we've been having a home game of, of hide the rubber duck around the house. <clears throat> and it has evolved to drive-by duckings now as well. So we're still hiding them all over the place. And, but uh, we also, I'll literally just walk down the hallway and Cora will be in their room and I'll just pitch a rubber duck right at their head. <laughs> but it's a rubber duck. It doesn't hurt. It's fine. But Cora keeps putting him in places I can't even freaking reach, which is a little bit insane. So, <clears throat> you know, I didn't get any water. And I was fine until all of a sudden, now I'm not. I do, yes, if you wouldn't mind. Or juice. I don't know uh, one thing for I can see. Uh... Oops. I'm forgetting that my camera is down here. So, uh, Kara says, same with homebrew versus official. Yeah. I think there's a lot of us that feel this, this, this way about that stuff. Uh, Ethan's dad says players are probably less likely to know homebrewers' monster abilities and weakness. Yeah. 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 It's actually, there was this big issue in in our house, in our marriage, you know, of, like, it was a divorceable offense for me to pick up the monster manual. Yes. He was super, super, super like rigid about I was not allowed to even look at the monster manual but then I cut it up and made coasters out of it so now I get to see it all the time I bought him a new one you guys don't freak out <laughs> but uh yeah I mean for the longest time I wouldn't even look at the monster manual because I mean <clears throat> there's there's plenty of players out of, out there in the world that can separate you know, not metagame, you, you don't, your character doesn't know it, even if you know it, and, thank you, sweetheart, it's over there, no. um, it's one of those things that, for me, I know myself, and where I know I am going to do my best to not metagame, it's still in the back of my head. Oh, I, I don't ever want to DM Regina. <laughs> um, as a mom, I have enough experience trying to wrangle people in to do things. So now I'm good. I, I'd, I'd rather be a murder hobo. That's that's my goal in life. <laughs> this stupid little neck spot is getting me here. It's not stupid. It's awesome looking, but. Oh, yeah. Um, I actually, I am definitely guilty of that. A lot of, a lot more common comes out of my mouth of, you know, hey, DM, would my character know? Would my character know? Can I roll a stat to figure out if my character would know? Mm -hmm. What stat do I roll for that? <laughs> Look, I have shiny rock maths. What do I do? <laughs> Math rocks. Flip that. You guys know what I mean. <laughs> English not work. Goodbye. So, you, Max, you said that Jake wasn't on tonight. Is he okay? Well, he, he was on earlier. Oh, okay. So I'm just checking on him because I know he wanted to see this. So, I kind of feel bad at painting it when he's not here. I'm doing a very wet dry brush at the moment. <laughs> rock math <laughs> well math does rock I'm just going to say that I have always been a fan you guys are getting a lot of dino butt here I'm trying to get in this groove and this is one of the benefits to painting while it's disassembled but for me, I find it, I find that I get my blends a lot better if it's assembled. And 
and I don't have to worry so much. Oh, thank you for the follow, yeah, thank I you think. For the follow. Yes. I was just about to thank you for the retweet, actually. I just realized. <laughs> <laughs> ah. So I, I recognized Ethan's dad not just from seeing uh, I, I recognized it chat, from but he was a guest. I don't I don't know if you were watching yeah. the episode. He was a guest once with uh with this song. Yeah, I, honestly, it's like we've watched Hot Makes so much, I kind of feel like I have a celebrity on the show watching right <laughs> <Yeah>. now. Because <laughs> I, we're definitely a fan of Hot Makes. Um, we've had, it's funny because what we'll do is we'll turn on the TV and have it playing in the living room. And then we'll, me and Ty and our oldest, or our youngest, not our oldest, our youngest, who's still living at home, we'll all have it on our phones as well. And we've all got our phones muted so that we can chat with our phones, but we can watch everything big on the TV. <laughs> Unfortunately, I haven't caught a show in... I don't know. Weeks. It's been weeks now. Um, we kind of got slammed with Christmas. Yeah, I think the holidays whacked. Yeah. Yeah, hot makes it great. When I started sorry doing lasers, that's that's where I went. Yep. To to learn how to use my Sorter lasers. <laughs> Thank you for the bits, Gareth. Is the cup not full? <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Snowman heads. Specifically. Um. Yeah, every time I go and watch Gareth's stream, I have to scream at chat because his cup is not full and has to be full. Because there's no point in having the cup there if it's not full and I can't bomb it. It's the whole point. I want to bomb the cup. Hold up at the little one and the big heavy ones. It's so much fun to watch. It really is. <laughs> I love a little snowman. Thank you, Bit Gareth. It's like, is that the one with the rainbow no nose? Oh, Oh, it's oh, that's not the one I thought it was. Oh, that's so fun because it's like making oh, it go a, in the head and then it comes out as a nose. Like, like yeah, a wall. that's really cute. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the puppies, Max. You know my puppy won't appreciate it, but I do. Maybe he's hiding. He's already hiding now. <laughs> So schedule wise, guys, I am not going to be streaming next week, but then the week after we will be back for that. Um, but I'm going to take off next week. You're going to be back the fourth? on the fourth. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Gareth. Oh, here comes the bomb, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Max, you timed that like perfectly. And you got that really good too. <laughs> yes, I guess so. That's that's the thing is I won't be I don't want to do an ultra the stream this week because I won't be here next week. I'm gonna add a little bit of my what is this one? Brain matter beige, which is actually a pretty almost bright white um to my red just so i can get a little bit lighter on my dry brushing which is a very wet dry brush but it's funny because these are like almost the exact same colors that i used for grilla and for um Krampus yesterday. Regina asks, 
are you still busy sewing mask orders and how are your fingers doing? Well, the fingers are all still attached. But that's, that's about it. As positive as you can be about it. That's about as positive as I can be about it, honestly. We have to do another doctor's visit in January. Yeah. Um they they are No, they're attached. That's really all I could say. <laughs> um and actually no, I've I've been masks are still pretty steady. But because of the holidays, I'm getting a lot more um, miniature orders. So I've been actually working pretty steadily on printing and getting files ready for printing and even getting some dice bag orders in. Um, and it's funny because I don't sell a whole lot of dice bags throughout the year. But when Christmas time hits, they, they start kind of flying out the door. But I've had, the most of it has been um, miniature orders. It's like everybody knows not to save up their points for the altar of the stream now. So now everyone's getting me. Damn it. Oh. That's why I hate having the beard man camera. I like but watching, having people watch me use the bathroom. Everybody likes the Beard Man cam. We've put this to a vote a many, many of time. It's staying. Um, and I think... I think you guys were all here. Well, I might have some sewer newer people. Um, I did the stream the other day where I wanted to work on my competition piece for Michael's competition but i also mentioned and i put a link in discord i believe for 3d printing in that one where there is another competition going on that ends in january 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 31st thank you for lord of the print and that one you can actually win like the top three prizes are 3d printers it's pretty phenomenal so definitely go to his my mini fact my mini factory page. Is that right? Yes, that's right. I'm an idiot, but you know what I mean. <laughs> English and I don't get along when it's when I'm tired. Um, but absolutely go check out that contest because it's open to everybody. You don't have to be a Patreon. The only stipulation is it has to be one of his models, but he's also giving away a free model. So you can just paint the beholder, which is right. freaking phenomenal. Free, free file to a model. You yes. Still need to get it printed, obviously. Well, yes. But I'm going to be painting uh, one of his newer releases um, for the Four Horsemen of Ap the Apocalypse. I'm going to be painting um, Pestilence. Uh, Max says, with Ty's lighting, it looks like his hair is purple. I, it's because of the, the green screen stuff. I... I I like want to play with the green screen, but I haven't played enough with it to get it right yet. So it's color similarity matching is making me look odd. I'm sure it's gonna Yeah, that's funny. Get caught. But, um Kira says, I'm I'll just stick with the duck just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> Creature says it's staying and that is the bottom line because Dawn said so. Said mm -hmm. my best stone cold. Yeah, okay. <laughs> everybody loves it if nothing else if i have to be scared you have to be scared with me that's how that works and uh for again for for new folks we do have a discord that you can come and hang out we've got channels to share what you're working on right now and update this i think is what i call mm -hmm. it um painting channel 3d printing channel and for we, we also have the gamers in the unknown show we have our, our channels uh, on on our discord for that too so you can come in and say you know we want to talk about the the sandworms the next cryptid you know something like that you can let yeah. us know what you want to what what you want to hear us talk about game Yes, and it's a lot of fun. Yeah, we're we're always on there now. Nothing. 
this point. Yeah. Um, and Max, I haven't shipped your, um, you got Krampus. I haven't shipped Krampus yet today because I figured if you're going to win today, um, we can consolidate. then we can consolidate. Oh, I'm not sure you, oh, you're finishing off the red dragon that you had already had printed. Okay. Gotcha. Yes, I think between Gareth, Cora, and I, we have decided that I'm going to get first place, Cora's going to get second place, and Gareth's going to get third. Because I figure if he's going to kick my ass in, in Michael's competition, then I get to kick his ass in the next one. <laughs> that's how that works. Pretty sure that's how, how we decided we were going to do it. I thought Cora said that. Um, you know, wish in one hand and shit in the other. Oh, so uh, it fills up faster. Around here. Yikes. Well, they're 19. They can take it. <laughs> well, then again, you know, I say that like I was ever the parent that let them win, and I just wasn't. I thought you were going to say good sport. <laughs> oh, no, no. If my kids ever had, you know, the taunting winning thing, from any of us, it was definitely me teaching them how to do that. Uh, Max says we still have the dual hand for them, too. Yes, I was originally, and see, and that's the funny thing, is I had the dual hand set off to the side because you guys were supposed to come and do the painting thing. That's right. And I was like, well, I'm because he's so fragile with his little lantern, I figured I'd just save it here for you, and then the, the trip got delayed. So, and I literally thought about it yesterday. So, if you win... Well, regardless, the Doolahan and the um, Krampus will go out tomorrow for you. I may be consolidating, but I'm also playing it safe and shipping to Jake's house. Because I still don't understand. It literally, your other package just literally said, return to sender cannot be shipped to addressee as addressed. No freaking clue why. So... Um, Max says, oh, well, well, let me back up about the competition thing. Gareth says, bring it. <laughs> <laughs> um, Max says, uh, oh yeah, I'm gonna hand a new shelf to put them on. I'm gonna have a new shelf to put them on. That's awesome. And, uh, just to Jake's. I'd agree. That, that's weird. Yeah. Yeah, I, Gareth, I actually got my, um, the, the main bit for Pestilence printed out the other day, and I've got a, a base coat of just black on him at the moment. Um, I haven't even got his base printed or anything like that. I just have him. And at this point, I'm not even sure I'm going to finish <laughs> Tiamat, so... I've made oh, I've made a little bit more progress on the base, but I did at least finish the rock. Here's the sweet. <laughs> so I I did actually finish one entry. I've already entered my rock, so I've got at least something in there. But the problem was, is I entered in the rock, and then I started look scrolling through what everyone else has entered. And I'm like. Oh, shit. <laughs> I need to go better. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ah, I don't really think I'm going to get this. I need to do something bigger and yeah, better. Same that rock, certainly in person, is sweet. Yeah. I took it out in the backyard and gave it a whole photo shoot. <laughs> it was really fun because, like, I threw leaves up at him and everything. <laughs> yeah, that part was so much fun. It was fun. I, I loved it. for a little bit afterwards. <laughs> it was awesome. Leaves all over me. Sir Way was having fall. fun. Sir had fun. He was running around the yard playing too. Yeah. I'm like literally my finger is stuck now. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> I got it out. Get my little baby one back again.
Yeah, it's your uh your other one is literally just sitting right next to Slenderman and Krampus and everything else because I just have a spot where all of these little ones sit when they're finished for gamers in the unknown. I just have a little shelf of you know how everyone's got the shelf of shame, right? Well now I've got the shelf of woohoo, I did it next to the shelf of shame. Because I'm proud. It's nice to sit down and like start to finish, get one done. Because that very rarely happens to me. Speaking of that, I feel like I'm already way behind schedule on this guy. Not quite an hour in. Okay, that's not as bad as I thought it was. I thought I was going to look up and it was going to be like 9 o'clock already. So, uh... Let's see. You've already mentioned that you're taking off next week. Yes. Gamers in the Unknown is off for the next two weeks. We'll be back on Monday the 10th. I'm on, pumped. Not on this channel, but on Gamers in the Unknown channel. Um, and tomorrow evening, Cora will be doing something different. Normally, you guys know Cora is doing some sort of geeky gamer crafting sort of thing. Or also mini painting. Tomorrow, they will be doing a uh, kind of like Mad Loops. It would be a writing thing, right? Some sort of fun story, hopefully, with, with all of your help. Um, yes. And if you look on the Discord at the Alter the Streams channel, is where you can learn about how uh, points can be spent in the program to affect the next stream. Well, last time, Cora's was affected with uh, a list of a couple of things. I don't have them sitting in front of me, but things <laughs> that uh, they're going to have to write about within the same scene of whatever story you guys write. So uh, that, that other people influenced. I don't remember what the subjects were, but it was like items. And... I gave the item of a Bob, Bob Ross wig has to be used in the story. And Screaming Candy Corn. That was Jake. Is a character that has to be entered. I'm pretty sure that was Jake. Let's, the other thing is, I can't read their handwriting, but I think it says Egypt. Not sure. But I know, yeah, the screaming candy corn was definitely Jake. Uh -huh. I remember that. So those are all things that have to be brought up. And as far as painting something smaller to finish it in one sitting, actually, <laughs> small shite. <laughs> Thanks, Gary. <laughs> the smaller things are, the more detailed I go in and I like get into a, um, Ty calls it puzzle suction. And I just, I, I get fixated and I will spend longer on a smaller item than I do on a bigger item. So that doesn't actually work, unfortunately. So Cora will be on this channel tomorrow evening yes. at 6.30 U.S. Central Time. And we'll have... Let's see, we are... Oh, we had a new follower, too. So where are we at on followers? Should be at 76, but sometimes the... Yeah, sometimes it's a little behind. It's just, it doesn't, uh, oh, no, it's right this time. So we are okay. at 76. So four okay. more followers, and we will vote on what the, uh, the 100 mini. follower mini <laughs> giveaway it will not be will mini. Be. Uh, I think one of, is Cthulhu one of the things that's Cthulhu on the list? Cthulhu is one of the things that'll be on the list. Which, which incidentally, did, no i got that one in too late um but it will uh that is one of the options i have a kraken that is one of the options basically there there will be f at least five things for you guys to vote on and that the vote will take co um place in discord um so you definitely want to be in discord for that and then at a hundred followers, we will give that that mini mini away. Um, 
Whichever one everybody chooses. Whichever one anybody, everyone votes on the most. We'll go to somebody. And if we reach, that's, I keep forgetting this part. Jake keeps reminding me. Yeah, I know. That's what's funny about it. If we hit, <coughs> excuse me. If we hit 100 followers and we still haven't given away all of the mystery mini boxes, if we hit 100 followers, we're just going to give them all away that evening. Currently, we've got 17 or 16 now. I think seven, 16. Um, it's a big giant pile over here. For those of you that don't know, we don't know what's in the boxes. We got them all packed up, and then we numbered the boxes for you guys to be able to select the number. Whatever number you choose, as long as it's remaining there, obviously. Yeah. We'll get shipped off to you free of charge. Just fun mystery. Um, some of them are painted. I think Ty took a photo of the big group kind of laid out. Um, before we, before Cora packed them up. And that's just it. It's like, I picked what was going to be given away and then Cora packed them all and then numbered them all. So I have absolutely no idea. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, Ethan's dead. It says, I vote for the pointy one. <laughs> that's pretty much anything and everything. It's an option. And lots of the, the mini monster mayhem is one of the, the groups that we print from and man those things are i think they're all spiky they are vicious it's like i don't know a, a mini painter attacked him as a child or something he's he's got something against mini painters it, it sets him apart though because mm. it reminds me of like image comics when it came out in the early 90s and spawn with the big i guess he called them paper airplane cape yeah no, I, I love them. I'm 100% for them. Um, I just am getting stabbed constantly. Uh, but it's one of those things where I've kind of gone through and picked um, people that I really enjoy the minis from so that I can paint those minis. But those are the ones that we offer on our Etsy page for sale. I made sure to pick things that um, that I aesthetically like as well, just because I don't believe in selling things that I don't like, because then there's no passion behind it, you know? Although I would have a, another one as an option, but they are currently still not accepting any more vendors. <laughs> So, I've got my eye on a few. I'm bringing in that darker red now, too. And this one's going to have to be built up a little bit. But I am always... I always find that going a thinner coat of paint and doing multiple coats always looks better for me other people that may be different but for me it always turns out better when i have a thinner coat He's so pretty. He has a, I think I mentioned it earlier, like the pieces on his base, just as I sprayed the whole thing green, it's kind of hard to see, but like this is a very Aztec looking little uh, statue. I don't know what to call it. It's not really a statue. Breeze. Breeze. Kind of started that sentence with I don't know what to call it. <laughs> it's those little it's it's not a statue, but it's a it's a carving. Yeah, I think it's called a freeze. I'm also not an archaeologist. I just play one on stream. <laughs> no. Bad. No. <laughs> I, uh... Okay, 
There's a reason I had you up there. In the way. I shrunk him down 50% because I'm like, there is no way I'm going to even remotely try painting him full size for stream. Um, and then whenever he was finished printing, Ty had gone downstairs first. I was like, you know, hey, how did it look? And he's like, look like it didn't fail i'm like but you know how did it look and he's like well i can just see like the back of everything i'm like shit so i hurried up and went downstairs and i'm like okay nothing failed and i'm like i don't know why i wasn't okay with him saying that <laughs> it's so weird well also when it comes to 3d printing in our house dawn's the expert and i'm just i perform remedial tasks for her occasionally Play more with the laser, with the freaking laser, freaking laser beams. <laughs> yeah, it's it's funny how much division of labor we have between the the hobbies of the things that we do. Like I paint the minis, he kills me with them. Um, he <laughs> I makes you paint them, I kill you. <laughs> yeah, I like I you know he makes the monsters, I paint the monsters, I die by the monsters. Um. <laughs> uh, well, uh, so so Gary says that's quitter talk. <laughs> um. It's it's just one of those things where it's like I you know, I definitely lean lean more toward the three D printing. I actually looked into sculpting, uh, models. I I did originally want when I first got the three D printer. My idea was as I would sculpt and i would paint my sculpt print my sculpts and paint my sculpts and it would be amazing and i would be so happy because i would have all these custom monsters and 3d sculpting is nothing like getting out my clay and working with my clay i'm sure it is to some people but that click is not there for me yet and then i started looking and there are so many freaking amazing sculptors and I much more enjoy doing this than I do the the sculpting part. So I think I'm going to let them do their thing and I'm going to do continue to do my thing. And eventually I may look more into sculpting, but honestly, I just, I love painting. So, and I, I love printing. It's kind of funny because it's, it's very much the same thing over and over again but each time it's brand new and you know i've printed the tarask like 50 times for christmas presents um that's like been the number one thing and i don't know what is wrong with all of you people out there giving your gms and dms presents of giant freaking monsters what is wrong with you why <laughs> would you do this yeah, this makes no sense you, but also happy we're not sitting at your table it makes no sense. Don't give them ammo. Virginia <laughs> announced that uh, the second batch of caramel popcorn came out better than the first. Yay! Uh, on to peanut butter cracker sandwiches. Oh, that sounds so good. I love. I'm a huge fan of peanut butter. Really good. Um, I'm gonna have to make cookies now when I've been a share, so I can have some cookies to munch on. So you're talking about the the modeling, and that reminded me. I'm probably gonna sound like an idiot. If Ethan's dad's still around, he can tell me if I am just an idiot. It seems like you were working on an app that does like 3D scans or something like that. You can use your phone and do 3D scans. I, I could be totally remembering that wrong. Apologize if I am. But I wonder if you could use something like that to do 3D prints from or something too. Maybe that was the whole point. I know there are things out there that you can, you know, scan your face and, and 3D print it. Um, yeah, uh, EM3D is a 3D scanning app for your iPhone X or higher. Yeah, that's groovy. Yeah. I just, I mean, if I can walk out my door and scan this, no. <laughs> I'm done. But, I don't think the point is that it has to be alive. You're worried about it. 
<laughs> but no, I just, it, as far as like, I love printing and I love getting, you know, the files ready and seeing everything kind of come to life. And, um, I have one customer that is currently working on building his army. I don't know what the hell he's going to fight, but damn, I don't want to fight him. Um, he's already ordered, uh, two Tarasks <laughs> of the largest size that I print. Um, I, I'm sorry. Earlier I said Tarask, but I meant Tiamat. That's been like the number one Christmas present this year for what people are, are ordering from me is anyway. Um, but the Tarask is definitely number two. But whenever he contacted me, he was explaining to me that he was, you know, building up his army and, you know, getting that ready and just wanted to make sure that all the sizes were going to be right and everything. And we kind of went back and forth, making sure that everything was going to be the way he needed it to be. And he ordered the two um, large Tarasks and I just assumed, you know, what more do you need? <laughs> But he just recently contacted me with the next thing we're we're nailing down what he's going to order and uh, those are another it, they're not as big as that but they're still another very large print and he's talking about getting multiples of those and i'm like just even more reason why i don't know what the hell you're fighting but i am not going to be one of the people fighting against you your players made it just yeah, I'm like, I don't know what your players, if, oh no, good lord. Uh, with regards to that EM3D that Ethan's dad worked on, uh, he says that Kamui Cosplay did a video on it, and Uncle Jesse, who, who we also We all know. <laughs> Uncle Jesse did a recent video on it as well. Uh, Regina says, oh, Tiamat is a statement piece, not sure about the Tarask. Um, yeah, actually, I it was... Uncle Jesse and um, Hot Mix is both kind of the same funny story where, and, and this has happened more than once in, in this household, where I'm watching something and Ty's watching something and neither one of us, uh, Viva, Viva La Dirtly is another one. We're both, Viva La Dirtly. Viva La Dirtly. Viva La Dirtly. Viva La Dirtly. <laughs> Um, is another one that we were both watching independently and finally one of us will have enough and go, okay, you have to watch this. I'm like, oh yeah, I've been watching that. Really? Yeah. Now it's, we just come out like, hey, look, I've seen this. Have you seen this? Yes. Okay, fine. We'll both watch it together now. <laughs> um, But yeah, Uncle Jesse was actually one of the first people that I started really watching to to figure out what I wanted out of a 3D printer. So before I had bought any printer, I had watched a crap ton of his stuff to figure out what was going to work the best for me. And uh, actually his video on the Elegoo um, Jupiter is the one that caught my eye and made me realize that they were, I didn't even know they were having a Kickstarter until I saw it on Uncle Jesse's page, and then I jumped over and grabbed myself one. Ethan's dad says, that's cool. Hot Mix was a family event for us for a while. Yeah, same here. Mm -hmm. And once we've got our schedule kind of back in hand, I'm sure it's going to be, right. you know, back to that every... I think I want to add a little bit of black in here just to get these tips a lot darker. Yeah, Cora actually won, um, won some filament. Uh, won a gift card to one of the filament things, giveaways that they had done. And the gift card, it was really cool because I, I don't remember where she got it. Fulfillment, I think. I don't remember for sure the name, but whatever she got, she got a... a a decent little gift card and on top of that they had some sales going on so Cora ended up technically spending like a hundred dollars but 
between the gift card and the sales, she only was out of pocket like 15. So she kind of racked up on that giveaway. Yeah. Yeah, Cora, Cora bought a lot of stuff. I think, I think Cora went back. Yeah, because, yeah, they, they definitely thought uh, that I think it's fulfillment. Or fulfillment. I can't. Uh, yeah, it's something like that. It's know. something like that. And we don't. Cora does the filament printers. And we do the yeah. resin printers. So. Yeah. It, it's funny because between all of our geekdoms and and hobbies, we've got everything covered. You know, Ty's got lasers. I've got resin. Cora's got filament. I've got sewing. Um, Ty's got uh, two part resin. No. Anything else. <laughs> two part resin um oh uh for my coasters yeah know? and then you've that also was on hot makes, actually oh yeah that's true I was proud of that yeah my my uh D, D class coasters were, were i think that was right after i started doing the, the lasers well right after i figured out how to do the laser <laughs> inching that i wanted to do on the coasters um Here's one of my early ones that did not, I've never filmed because it's so terrible. <laughs> it did not work. But that's the nice thing about, you know, things that didn't work quite right. We we have them all over the house because they're test modes. Um, But no, you've got, you know, it's just, like I said, we've, we've pretty much got the maker's stuff all handled between, between the household. Somebody asked about masks earlier. I think we're still happy to do the geeky masks, but they are definitely fading. Yeah. And I think we're okay with that, too. Not that we don't want to sell masks still. It's just the 3D printing is a lot more fun. Well, that not to mention, I, I do a lot of um, embroidered masks, and that's really what I love to do is the embroidery. Yeah. Um, not hand embroidered. I'm not that good. Um, I'm sure I could, but... I don't I just don't have the time for that um but I have an embroidery machine so I like doing the embroidered masks much more than just the standard fabric masks because I can really customize anything anybody wants um and just make it unique so I, I want to move more into the sticking more to the embroidery and less of the random fabrics that not to mention, it's like I have people that are like, oh, I, you know, I bought this mask from you a year ago and I love it, but I lost it. I, I want to get a new one. I'm like, well, it's, they're not making that fabric anymore. I, I don't make the fabric. I can't control what they sell and what they don't sell. And it, it kind of drives me crazy. I'm like, I don't understand how you don't realize that that's an amazing fabric. Don't ever stop making it. But they don't listen to just me. <laughs> so... That plus I've started making um, banners for the wall that are embroidered. Yeah. Um, so I, I basically what it boils down to is there's only so much that I can actually do during the day. And if I'm sewing 50 masks, I can't make any, I can't paint, I can't do this, I can't do that. So I have to decide what I want to do. And the banners and the embroidered masks to me are more us, I guess. And I, like I said, I also can control, you know, in, in five years, I can still do that exact same mask because you loved it and you couldn't find it now. I hate for you to lose it. Yeah, that's much better. Ethan's dad says, Ethan and I do more than 3D printing and I'm glad the maker community all supports each other, whatever the craft. Yes. Exactly. That is like open arms, helpful, loving. It's amazing. Yeah, it's uh, it's funny because I always have this fear, and, and I know maybe some of you guys will get this, but in the, the early 2000s, I, I thought I wanted to know more about Java. It turns out I didn't. But in any case, the late 90s and early 2000s were not very nice whenever you'd go online to try and ask questions about Java for whatever reason. I can speculate. But in any case, <laughs> because other languages I didn't have, PHP, I'm talking about programming languages for those of you that don't know. 
PHP and C and stuff like that, I didn't really have the same experience, but ooh, Java was rough. And I'm always worried now when I get into a new craft or something that, oh boy, I hope this isn't one of those places where I'm like, well, you idiot, how come you were even asking me that question? Or <laughs> Yeah, and I have not found the painting community to be that way uh -uh. at all. I mean, it's it still blows me away uh, and and gareth can can speak to this as well of like michael mordor is this you know huge well-known mini painter and when i was first getting into it i'm like you know he's got thousands and thousands and thousands of followers and but i'm desperate to know how he does you know this particular tiny little thing but like well, I'm going to ask because what's the worst going to happen? He's not going to answer. How does that change anything? Right. And I mean, minutes after I sent him a message popped up right away with an answer and anything I could possibly need from him. He was right there, open armed, willing to help, willing to basically like, if I'm going to get better at painting, then everyone is going to get better with me is his mentality. That's, and that's, it's, that's kind of why I started watching hot makes too, is because I asked a question about, or to her before I had even received my laser yet, I asked Nerdy J from uh, Edge of Tech, who was on Hot Mix. Let's go! And Sorry. I think he answered me less than a day. So, yeah. Like, yeah, I'm going to watch the show and see what this is about. Uh, Ethan's dad says Java was always very academic. Yeah, I agree. The community is different now, though. It's, it seems a lot, when I've had times in the last 10 years anyway, when I've had to ask questions or something, I didn't have the same sandpaper responses that i had in 1999 2000 2001 yeah uh, gareth says the community he has built up around him is amazing and he's a great pillar for the painting community absolutely yeah and you guys you guys know i don't paint i can barely draw my name but uh i watch the show anyway i watch gareth's show gareth's a great painter no, I haven't, but absolutely you guys should go and check him out because he is a lot of fun. Yeah. He doesn't have jump scares, so I definitely win when it comes to that, Gareth. I'm just saying. I think, I think she's challenging me. <laughs> okay. for, for those you, anybody who's not um, not familiar with it, Gareth and I are, are just messing with each other. We like to... It, it's a friendly competition, but it is definitely a competition. I rarely get blood on me. <laughs> That's because uh, you're not fighting hard enough. <laughs> I'm not even fighting. Uh, Regina says, I, I keep coming back to this channel because I love the interactions. Well, thank you. You're, thank you. That is so thank sweet. I like seeing your, your minis that you post, Regina. You're doing amazing. For someone who has never printed, painted, painted a mini. <laughs> Like the first one they whipped out was like, <laughs> this is son of a bitch, Tyler. Oh my. Who could have done that? Oh, you're such a jerk. <laughs> oh, anyway, Regina had never painted a mini before. I'm taking a drink, guys. Don't do it. And just like slammed out an amazing mini. Yeah, I beat you. I <laughs> I thought, well, I said I'm taking a drink, so I'm like making sure. I didn't want to like spill my drink all over the place because you know I would. So I do mess with Gareth quite a bit, but it's it's all in fun. Um, that got you, didn't it? That got me creep show. I was cheating that time. I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but no, the, the, it's funny because like the jump scares started for Halloween, obviously, and it just, it's, it's fun. So we kind of kept it. Excuse me. I'm really trying to be very, very gentle and dry brushing to where like, it's not, it's coming down into the white, but it's not like blending. It's just kind of sitting right on the very, very tip top of it. And it, it just gives it that, because you can see it in the the photo, if Ty will put the photo back up, um, you can see that the, the red kind of comes over the top, excuse me, of the cream and stuff. So I'm just trying to emulate that, basically. It really does make kind of life easy for me when I can 
have models to or images to work from. Garrett says, and coming from being self-taught mostly and watching YouTube videos, I love passing on what I've learned to others and seeing them get better. Plus, I don't think I'd scare as easily as you, but it's <laughs> fun seeing you try. <laughs> uh, well, you know, to be honest, the, there is a very good reason of why I scare so easily, and it's, You're a chicken. it's karma. Um, ever since our kids were little, I have jumped out of closets. I have done this. I have done that. I've done, I have done my job as a parent to scare the shit out of my children because <laughs> it's fun. And Isabella in particular is very easy to get. Like I would legitimately hide outside the bathroom door, down on all fours, almost laying flat on the ground to wait for them to come out of the bathroom and grab their ankle and scream. <laughs> You're a bad person. I'm married to you. <laughs> That's Oh, you're not trying to help yourself. Oh, I got you. Um, so it, it's just one of those things that it, it really is just karma getting back at me for that. Kara says, oh yeah, this is totally a real what you sow. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it definitely is. Creep Show says, my kids are suspicious of a closed shower curtain. <laughs> that must tough, be a tough thing to shower. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, no, I I can see that. And Regina says, in this one instance, I'm glad you're not my mom. <laughs> yeah. Um... One of the, but you know i i do fun things as well ty doesn't like it but one of the the kids favorite thing is when i start water fights i hate it i hate it water fights are great you're supposed to be outside it's cold out there when i want to have water fights though tough i don't really see the issue it's it's on the tile floor we clean it up it's fine it's a wood floor. This is a tile floor. You keep your water fights out of the room with all my computers in it. <laughs> but when we lived in the house across town, the kitchen was all tile. I hate it so much. The, the kids... truth is, Dawn likes it because we're all standing in the kitchen not thinking about it. and She doesn't have to fill a, a water balloon or even a cup. She just pulls the, the sink hose out and sprays everybody down with it. Yep. <laughs> uh, just, there's no water fights in my library. No, never the library. So the thing, no. too, we have books everywhere. Yes. And I know you like to say things like, I won't get it, but you're a klutz. I am. I am pretty klutzy. Regina says, that's awful. <laughs> If you're going to stand in the kitchen and bug me while I'm working in the kitchen, then you are free game. I think you're telling a story there, trying to add in bugging you. Probably, <laughs> but I don't really see the point of, you know, shh. It's the worst. It doesn't happen so much now that the kids are larger, mainly because they can take me. <laughs> uh, Regina says if they're bothering you then maybe it's deserved see mm -hmm. Regina gets it well that's that's one way to take that sentence another way to take that sentence is because she's throwing water on everybody that she deserves to be bothered But I'm cooking food for you guys. I shouldn't be bothered. Uh, Gareth's got to run and tuck the kids in. This was fun, guys. All right. Uh, Gareth, can you hang out for a few more minutes and we'll do the giveaway now so you've got yeah, a shot? If you can give Ty just a minute to, yeah. to get it together. It's 8 o'clock anyway, so. Yeah, I'm not even touched that base yet. 
but I am also almost done with him. I'm just giving him some, some brighter highlights. So we are going to do a straightforward one today. It's going to be RAR. So type in. And roar into the chat. R A W R. If you'd like to enter to pick from the mystery boxes, the mystery mini boxes, type the word R A W R R, -R into chat now. Uh, we'll wait for everybody to kind of get your entry in, and uh, then we'll do the drawing. Uh, his dad says, I came home from a business trip a day early and surprised panic Ethan's mom one night. Luckily, she was unarmed. <laughs> Like yeah, see, that would be a bad thing. Gareth's going to hang out for a minute, so... Awesome. Good, good. We're getting entries. Yeah, I, I just hate for you to be here for the whole show and then have to leave right before we do a giveaway. Gareth says, Rar, that, that's dinosaur for I love you. Right? <laughs> kissy, kissy, kissy. Nom, 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 nom. Wait. Nom, 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 nom. Because <laughs> I'm two. <laughs> But I did pretty much, I mean, I stuck to the colors fairly decently. All right, I'll give you one more minute, guys, if you want to put in R-A-W-R. -R. If you didn't hear, we're about to do the drawing. Anybody who wants to enter, just type in R-A-W-R -R into chat, and you will uh, be entered for that drawing. Yes, and we have quite a few left. Thanks, Gareth. You tell me when, Dawn. Um, yeah, I'm ready to stop and grab the boxes at any point that you say go. Because I'm literally just adding a few more little touches of red randomly where the higher spots are so I can get kind of a more red sh shine. You can draw whenever you're ready, my sweet. Go. Is Nightbot apparently awarded it to themselves? Let me Yay! Good again. job, Nightbot. I don't understand how Nightbot was injured. <laughs> <laughs> that was a little bit odd. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Max Universe. Max, see, this is why I didn't pack your shit. <laughs> okay, so go ahead and call out a number. I have the numbers listed right here in Whoa. the very bad handwriting that are still available. Yes. Uh, can you get it in front of the, the action? Yeah, I don't think you still don't think you could read it because it looks like 12 but that's 1 2 4 6 8 9 10 11 12 14 15 17 18 19 and 20. <laughs> well congratulations max uh if you want to uh, pick a number we'll let you know if it's actually on the border <laughs> <laughs> we'll have it written better for next time because <laughs> i thought i was just oh i'll check the boxes but yeah that's not really a thing so there's too many in there still how? I know they're there. <laughs> they may have stepped away for a moment. <laughs> I'm going to move this and I'm going to pull out my base. Max saw that the uh, night bot one was like, I'm getting a drink. Then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. Damn it, cheater. Ah. <laughs> uh. I can't believe Nightbot allowed itself to win. That's super weird, right? It's not just me. <laughs> well, I saw it on the side. Apparently, it was checked, and I didn't realize it was checked. I mean, extreme laps could have also. Yeah, that 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 absolutely should not be a thing. Uh, no, Max will be on Twitch. Um. 
Max has a, um, to put it politely, needy cat. So there are some times where Max has to jump up and deal with something immediately. So they may not just be there right now. It doesn't matter what, what number they pick anyway. We're not going to know what it is. Yet. No. <laughs> well, you know what we could do is draw another person. And then that person can pick a number. And if Max comes back, Max can pick a different number. Because it's Christmas. And I won't be here next week. So we can make it up by giving away. Give another one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Okay. I just didn't see his RAR here in the chat. I bet you're right. I think my settings are off. And that's why. Well, I say because it's Christmas, let's give away a second one. Yeah, Max actually stepped away. So, yeah, if in, if Max comes back before the end of the stream, then we'll do that. If not, then we'll just give away another one. Let's try this again. We're going to say Dino, D-I-N-O this time. I'm going to be mad if my settings are still off. Let's let's try that again for everybody that's still hanging out. If you put in D I N O, you will try. Oh, see now I can see that it's as soon as Lashigu Games put in. I see everybody's names populating. It seems right this time. I thought last time maybe well okay. just missed it whenever they entered it, but I think it wasn't even registering that I was using the keyword. Hmm. Okay, so we're gonna give away two tonight, and what we'll do is we'll count. Max is as a weird thing, and we'll draw two names from the dino. How does that sound? Do we think we get this one too? Yeah. Since that wasn't exactly right last time. All right. Okay, guys. I'll get like a minute more, and then I'll, I'll try this again here. Oh, I forgot. Those are so super, super sensitive. They're so cool. Yeah, that's weird. Word, man. It's word. All right, drum roll. You want me to go? Want me to go? Me and now? yes, yes, yes. Do it, do it, do it. Ethan's dad is the winner. Yay! So you get to pick a number between 1 and 20. That may or may not be here. <laughs> may or not be may or may not be there. That's that's not 12. That's 1 and 2. <laughs> I didn't write this. If I wrote this, it'd be completely illegible. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of nearly illegible. Instead of nearly illegible. <laughs> oh, shoot. So congratulations, Ethan's dad. And once Ethan's dad has a number, then we will draw a second name, and that person can pick one. So, so some of the boxes, there's, there's, I don't know, four or five that are painted, mm -hmm. and then the rest are unpainted minis. Yep. Just... Most of them are three D printed. There's a couple of Reaper miniatures in there. Is there? That's the ones that are painted are Reapers. I yes, think, that's right. Some of them. The ones that are are not painted are all printed by me. Ethan's dad, if you pick a number, that's the box. We'll, uh, yeah, because they're we'll literally all sitting here beside me and they're just numbered. Like, here's two, here's 20. Literally grab that, and you'll need to reach out to Ty on Discord mm -hmm. to get our addresses. Yeah, I know I keep doing No, picking a, one of the numbers that are listed here is what I have left yeah. because we've been doing the giveaway for a couple of weeks now. So, this is these are the numbers that we actually still have okay number 11. all right all right now ty is going to draw another number another name and i'm going to find number 11. 
four, eleven, one, 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 two. <laughs> I know, right? I didn't write it. <laughs> so you're wanting what? We're going to draw another name for okay. another winner. And okay. just use the same, just go ahead and roll it again. Uh, should we give everybody another chance to jump in? or? Um, Isn't everybody already entered? Well, you know, the funny thing about online is people come in. Oh, okay. Uh, so, I don't know. I, 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 <laughs> well, basically, you got a minute to enter R-A-W-R, just, just like this, R-A-W-R, into the chat if you haven't done it already. Dino, I'm sorry, it was Dino, wasn't it? Yes. I take it back. D-I-N-O. <laughs> My goodness. Oh. Okay. It's bedtime, I guess. Uh, but you have you have checked it to where Gareth is eligible, correct? Gareth is eligible. Yes. Okay. Nightbot is not. <laughs> Nightbot is not. <laughs> Streamlabs is no. Dino. Dino. Go roar. That's the way to make sure you're in there. Right? Um and. So, Ethan's dad, this is yours. So, you need to make sure that you reach out to Ty on Discord. Yeah, I just dropped the Discord link into chat if you'll go join that. And then we can make I'll sure that gets out. You can uh, give me a, a private message, or I'll give you a private message or something so we can get your uh, your mailing details and we'll ship it out to you tomorrow. Because it's like literally packed and ready to go. All I have to do is slap a lab an address label on it, and that's it. Not seeing any new entries, so we are going to roll again, right? Yep. Here we go. Gareth. Yay! So Gareth's not on anymore, but you'll get his number. Yeah, I'll I'll reach out to Gareth and get that from him. Groovy! Congratulations, Gareth. Congratulations, guys. Um. I'm just literally playing around with the bass and kind of knocking things around. Excuse me. I think we we'll right. have to do some internal investigation to figure out why not. It's trying to win its own. Yeah, that's like super, like, that's sketch, man. That's just. <laughs> that's sus. Sus. Uh, I think, I think for whatever reason, it didn't really, I thought I was on a different kind of giveaway or something. Regardless, it shouldn't be able to win. It's <laughs> not a present. And I just saw a thing pop up across my phone. That's a thank you for joining, Ethan's dad. Regina says congrats, and someday I will win. I mean, we got still a lot to give away. Yes, we do. And remember, if we can get to uh, 100 followers... Whatever's left in that box is going in one go. That Every whole, that yeah, whole bang, all at once. So, this is my attempt at buying followers. Because <laughs> I want to give away a big mini. Damn it! I'm kind of excited about giving that a giant mini away too. See, maybe that's what it is, Regina. Is you're not gonna win one of the little baby ones because you're destined to win the biggie. Maybe that's what it is. There's no they're the ones that we are talking about giving away are not doable in one print and most of them are not doable in two it's going to take three or more prints to finish it <laughs> uh. I'm just mixing my different greens to, to do the foliage. I love how delicate these are. I mean, you can see, like, just bumping that. It, it moves around. It's so thin and so delicate. It's awesome. I need my liner brush. I want to get my darker green out too. 
because I've got all these little cool vines going. I want to get the dark brown or the dark green on the vines, I think. Oh, my nose. Yeah, I think tonight I'm going to bake some cookies. Cookies. And see, I cheat, Regina. Whenever I make cookie dough, I make way too much. And then I make a bunch of balls of cookie dough. So, you know, just cookie scoop it out, you know. And so I've got like just zip a Ziploc bag full of cookie dough ready to go. So I can just pop that in the oven and make fresh cookies every night. There's a reason I'm as big as I am. I accept this. <laughs> and I am okay with this. I did not, but I still just keep eating cookies. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I did not do a very good job at filling my gaps or even lining up my base at all, honestly. But I also knew that this wasn't going anywhere. And it's for me, so... Sometimes it's okay. You can see I got eleven. Yes. Okay. I've got it actually sitting right there. Well, I. Case you talk to Gareth. Yeah, I'm, I'll message him when I'm done with this. Which we're actually not all that far from because. The more he's setting, the more I'm liking the way the colors kind of popped off. And I don't think I'm really going to touch him all that much more. I mean, he he matches his, his picture pretty well. It's got a few shinier spots. The picture does. I mean, a few brighter spots, shinier spots, however you want to say it, but... You laughing at me or something else? You. <laughs> That's usually the case. But I've got my um. Words are hard. I've got my uh, moss paint. And I'll probably add a little bit of that. The moss and the lichen that I really love. Makes such a great paint. Or uh, mm, color tones things happen. Uh, Regina says, I forgot how messy peanut butter can be, but I'll have an entire box of crackers with the sandwiches made for dipping. Nice. Yeah, I made, um, I was trying to make Rice Krispie treats, but I wanted to use homemade marshmallows to do it. Um, cause I'm like, you know, as I'm making marshmallows, if I just stop part way through the process, I can just mix in the stuff and I won't have to melt marshmallows. Texturally, it doesn't stay the same. So, note to self, just use store-bought. It's easier. And it turned out better to use just store-bought. Um, but as I was in the attempt of making it, when I make Rice Krispie treats, I like peanut butter Rice Krispies. That's my favorite. So I always get the peanut butter out and I was going to do it and I'm like, wow, so this isn't working for peanut butter Rice Krispie Treats, but I think I've made very good peanut butter marshmallows. And as I was trying to clean up, I was just, it was just everywhere. It's so good, though. It's just, it's so worth it. I'm a huge peanut butter fan, though. to do oh that was loud sorry where's my lichen there it is 
Uh, it's okay. It's not like the mic is on the desk. Go oh, away, it is. <laughs> Ethan's oh, Ethan's that's Ethan's. so good. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm reading it. <laughs> oh, okay. Ethan gets it. I made pretty pebble rice krispie treats. Seemed like a good idea, but they were meh. I, so I haven't made those, but I've seen them and I'm like, I desperately want them. So I think what you would, sweet. what I think you would prefer is the cocoa rice krispies or the, the cocoa fruity pebbles. Hi, dorky. Guess what you literally just missed. And we gave away two. I'm sorry. And I love you. I'm talking about camera. I love you. Sorry. Yeah, Regina, that's what I was saying was the the cocoa would be like really good. I was I gave her Jay. I was like trying to delay it, but Gareth had to go. And so I'm like I, I went ahead and we drew names. I'm so sorry. I want that. I want the cocoa. That's what I was saying was the cocoa rice krispies. Not cocoa rice krispies, the cocoa um fruity pebbles. Oh. I was thinking of cuckoo rice krispies whatever they were. they're not called they're called something else right no they're called uh Co fruity pebbles cocoa that's because you're wrong sweetheart maybe, maybe i don't know anyway it sounds good because cocoa right ethan says oh yeah cocoa would be great i bet uh dorky dino every time yep sorry <laughs> Gamer JM, hi. You were on uh, Gamers in the Unknown last night. Um, Dorky says, I understand. Regina says, Coco Pebble. Yes, thank you. I knew I was saying it wrong, Regina, but I could not for the life of me get it right. I can't remember what's called, but I want to eat it. <laughs> Coco Pebbles, yes. Uh, Gamer JM is. Also doing some art. Regina says, just one too many words. Yeah, Because <laughs> we all know English is my strong suit here. <laughs> Come on now. Let's adjust our expectations of me a little bit here. <laughs> I think, well, I'm not going to be here next week. Um dorky but the week after that i think the kids need to go to bed early i think that's what needs to happen <laughs> no <laughs> what i'll do is i'll just delay i won't do the drawing until until you're here she goes says there's cocoa krispies too oh there is now isn't there i just want all the cereal with the chocolate in it. <laughs> but then i have to make rice krispie treats out of it Yes. Okay. I want that. Well, but you said you just want the cereal with the chocolate in it. And I'm like, no, I, I need to make the... We can get uh, three boxes. One for you to make treats from. One for me to have cereal with, you know, with cereal milk. One for me to sit on the couch and dig the box out of it. Because realistically, we don't eat cereal in the morning. We eat cereal at midnight when we want a snack. <laughs> <laughs> I can still remember like being at the um, the grocery store and shopping with the kids and this lady who was super awesome and into my grocery cart was pointing out the fact that I had chosen to buy um, crap cereal for kids and um, what do you call it? What do you guys eat all the time? The one with raisins in it. Right. Raisin bran. She's like, you know, it would much be better. Or it would be much better for your kids if you would feed them, you know, raisin bran rather than Captain Crunch. I'm like, they chose the the raisin bran. The Captain Crunch is for me. <laughs> My kids have shit taste in cereal. <laughs> I'm the one that eats the good stuff. Oh my gosh. I didn't paint his mouth at all. It's still like literally. Ugh, I gotta go back to that. You have to fix that. Yes. <laughs> Gamer JM says, Kellogg's. Yes, indeed. You know what I'm going to do? 
Rice Krispie treats made from the peanut butter <laughs> Captain Crunch. Are you going to add peanut butter too? Well, yes. Oh, yeah. Crunchy peanut butter. Why not? Regina says yes, please. Yeah. One of my favorite things to do lately is get the um, the store made, you know, in a roll, uh, um, cinnamon rolls, and I put them in the waffle maker and make cinnamon roll waffles. Like, I don't even make cinnamon rolls anymore. I just make cinnamon roll waffles. That's good. It's so much better. And it cooks so much faster. It's faster and it tastes really good. I mean, it tastes like cinnamon rolls, but I guess it's the it's texture a, or something. It's a waffle. It's good, man. <laughs> and I'm going to have to end the stream early and go eat. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I mean, I'm going to go eat when we're done here, but I'm not going to end early. I'm is that guy gonna eat with his mouth eat with with ease because he doesn't have to worry about brushing his teeth after. <laughs> okay. So this is um Vallejo environment and it's moss and lichen is what this is. And the other one is slime. But I've I, slime something light. But as you can see, I've ruined the name. But I love these. These are awesome. Absolutely. A hundred percent orange icing is the only way to go. Um, you know how a lot of times they're sold out of the orange ones? And you know why they're sold out? Because it's the best one. So I always have orange um, extract. So I can just make icing in like five seconds instead. So you can buy whatever one you want and then just make some quick icing. Because, I mean, it's like, takes two minutes to make icing anyway. So you might as well just make it. It's better anyway. Uh, Dorky Dino says, do you slime to the name? <laughs> Pretty much. I don't even know, because it's, it's not black. So I don't even know how that happened. <laughs> It's this is the color of what I used, but it somehow got like black across the spilled all over it. I just I don't even know. Ty wasn't lying when he says I'm a klutz. Uh, Regina says orange is clearly the best. <gasps> I'm sorry, I read the next line. Oh yes, you, you have to read it out loud. I, I got stuck because yes. <laughs> Ethan Dad says, uh, try deep frying the cinnamon rolls, dust with cinnamon and sugar while still wet. We have oil, we have cinnamon rolls, we're good to go. That is our snack tonight. You Holy have named crap, it. Wrap tonight? Oh, yes. I don't need to sleep. Actually, sugar doesn't really keep me up. Okay. Mouth time. Let's get some pretty white, pearly whites. I didn't do his eyes either. I just left them literally just these red balls. I don't know why I got distracted. But that happens quite easily to me. And just like always... Eyeballs, so I'm gonna stop talking. Ty, you should do the, you know, make them buy our stuff thing. What? Promote our shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I usually promote the show at a time like this, and I'm like, eh. well, Cora's gonna be on a crafting show tomorrow. It's 6:30 p.m. U.S. Central Time. Uh, writing. This time we're gonna try something different. Everybody else can jump in and and uh, help the story. Um, Dawn and I will not be on next week. I will not be on the week after that, and then I guess you'll be back the first Tuesday in January. Um, 
our stuff. So you can check out, I guess I can get some links together or something intelligent like that too. Did you say yeah, like I'm not saying intelligent things? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I have balls. Let's see here. Stabby foot. Well, I'm, I'm going to give out the Crit Monkey game site because from there at the bottom of the page you can kind of get out to all of our social stuff like twitter and facebook and all of those things yes plus at the top we've got a link to our shop one of our shops so let's, oh this was the All right, so for anybody interested, there's our website. Like I said, all of our socials are like down at the bottom of the page. Our shop goes to our it's our Shopify page. Um, and I think where can you go? Etsy page without that's not on there, is it? I don't know, sweetheart. That's your job, not mine. <laughs> Division of labor. <laughs> do, do, do. yeah that way because we all like the diy stuff but we have lots of friends who also they don't have a 3d printer don't want a 3d printer if you want us to print something for you then certainly either the shopify or the etsy page is where you can find us yep Yeah, it's a, a great way to reach out um, on the Discord as well to give input on what you want to see on Gamers of the Unknown or what you'd like to see me paint. Gosh, no details! Bad people! Bad people! <laughs> Damn it! Working on an eyeball? Hung. Oh, I has anybody mentioned the camera view? Is this better or worse than before, guys? A little bit high, as I can see. Oh, sorry. At this moment, at least. Well, it's his tail is like bonking here as I'm trying to see into his damn mouth to get his tongue. But I'm trying to get a better angle for you guys to see more closely what I see. I seems like this works better, but I don't know. I mean, this is how every time I am recording, um, when I'm painting for Gamers in the Unknown, this is the angle I use. So I thought this might be nice to try. And I have my artwork in the back. This is actually really cool. We were at a con and I had this um, artwork done. And I was able to email it to the guy in the booth next to us. And he was able to print it on um, this acrylic and bend it. So it's like super, super awesome. I love it. Dan says, I like the angel. Or oh, the angle. angle. <laughs> you spell it right. He didn't read it right. <laughs> I'm sorry. It seems like you guys can see better what I'm looking at and what I'm doing is what it seems like, but I mean, it's just me. I don't know for sure. Okay. I've got white on the eyeballs. Let's see, he just really has, it's dark and I can't see anything. <laughs> and Dorky's checking their spelling. No, it was me. It wasn't nope. you. Yeah, it was not you. I mean, I just write all the time. Let's see. We are going to go with this super bright green because it's Christmas. Christmas dino colors. Just eyeballs. Just eyeballs. Just green eyeballs. There we go. Nice little green highlight on the eyeball. Rawr. He's so cute. Let me, let me sit on his base again. Be 
could you pull up the like what the image is behind you sorry i don't know how he sits on his base i want to see the product image oh, let's see. <laughs> really? Yes, thank you. Okay, so... Can you hide that one? Nope, that's fine. Okay. This guy is on that side of it. Okay, you can go back. Uh, Regina, I think it's going to take a while before you don't, honestly, hate eyeballs. They're not the nicest thing in the world. They're, they're kind of jackasses. Um, but as you can see, all I did was I put white in there. Hang on re-angle my light here so i put white as the background and then i just literally did a dot of green i didn't even put any black on top of it because i have such a small dot of green that if i do a black on top of it you won't see the green so i'm done that's it well not on the christmas ornament i did because basically the whole front of it was <laughs> But you can see it's, it really, from, even from on the camera to me, it just looks white. It doesn't look like there's anything but just white there to me on the camera anyway. But I can see a little bit of, of green here. Um, G Gamer J says in Terraria, they're evil. What Terraria is. Uh, Regina says they're just so tiny, even on the big ones. Ethan's dad says it looks great. Should be the new image for the monster manual. <laughs> Rawr. He's uh, super fun. This is so smart. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just, I love the, the inspiration photo that Jake gave me. It, it was a lot of fun to work from. Um, I could literally sit here for another six hours easily doing more detail and everything else, but I am going to behave myself, glue him to his base, and call him done. Dorky says the smart was a reference to how you did the eye. That's yeah, I, I, figured. I figured. I assumed, yes. Um, because why would you ever say anything smart about him? Because... Do you have to deal with? <laughs> You're such a dork. But I think that that is going to be it for tonight. I did it. Yay. I finished another one. I'm so proud of myself. Um, but I will reach out to Gareth and see which one he wants. And <laughs> I love that little dinosaur dorky. It's so freaking cute. And uh, Ethan's dad, thank you so much for joining us. And congratulations. Your mini will be shipped out tomorrow to you. And I have no idea what it is, but you'll find something in there. Um, I will be back streaming on the 4th. So happy holidays, Merry Christmas, eat lots of food, celebrate, celebrate safely. And oh, also everybody, just so you know, New Year's Eve is also somebody's birthday. Beard Cam Man is going to have a birthday. Lucky you. So while you guys are out <laughs> celebrating and shooting off fireworks, lift your glass and say happy birthday to Tyler because he loves it. Lifting my glass. <laughs> Lifting his glass. <laughs>